Do you like data? Do you like coding? Well, this video is for you and let me tell you why. In this video, I'm going to explain to you why you might choose data science or software engineering and whether to help you pick or not. So depending on the company and location, you might make more as a data scientist than you might make as a software engineer. Last store, the average data scientist will make $113,000 a year, while the average software engineer will make $92,000 a year. According to that same source, the average cash compensation for software engineers is $7.2,000, while the average cash comp compensation for data scientists is $11,000, around there. So, based on those numbers alone, you might say, data science, wrong! And there's other reasons as why, might, why you might pick uh, software engineering as well, and let me go through those. You have to look at the, the quality of life before you decide your life. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average expected growth for data scientists is expected to be around 16% every year. While according to that same statistic, the average growth for data scientists is expected to be 16%. So that is less by about 5% than software engineering. So that means data science isn't going to be growing as much in the at least U.S. economy. And what does that mean for you? If you pick data science, it might be harder to find a job in the future, like five years from now, than if you pick software engineering. And why is that, you ask? Well, it might be because less people are hiring for data science. Maybe less people, less companies need data science. And another key note is that the average growth for software engineers, that number of 21% each year, was taken in 2018. And that was based on a 1.3 million pool of, uh, I guess, there's 1.3 million software engineers in the US economy right now, while it is only 31K for data scientists. So that's an extremely lower sample size of data scientists. And what that means is that there's gonna be a lot more software engineering jobs that are gonna increase over the years than data scientist jobs. So if you want to go for data scientists, you're going to be very specialized. There's not going to be many people that are going to be going for that compared to software engineering. So I'll link to the, these uh, sources in the description, by the way. So another reason why you're going to be specialized if you go for data scientists is because it is usually required to go for some kind of master's degree and maybe like statistics or something like that. While if you want to go for software engineering, you oftentimes just need a bachelor's, if that at all. Sometimes you don't even need a bachelor's. All right, let's move on to some of the things other than money. So what do data scientists need to know? So they need to know stuff like statistical analysis. So analyzing, this is where the statistics come in. Uh, maybe a little bit of machine learning, maybe maybe not. If you want to go for a PhD, machine learning would definitely help. Uh, you know, SQL, Python, R, those kind of languages are also very helpful for data scientists. So you might be asking yourself, what do these magical data scientists do? They sound like wizards to me. And that's a good point. They are wizards. They're wizards of data. So they can get, they know how to like get the data from their sources and then they'll, they'll process it. So like, um, if you know like Excel, uh, then you know that it has a bunch of columns and stuff. Well, processing it might be like taking out some columns, maybe getting rid of some of the data that is not needed. Like uh, if you have a, a bunch of data on sharks, you, won't, you only want to care about the humpback sharks, or humpback whales, wait, th those are different things. If you, <laughs> you, maybe you just want to get rid of all the data. That's what data scientists could do. So another thing that data scientists could be doing is that they create predictive models for data. So kind of like making graphs and stuff. They will also model like how things are going to expected to work in the real world. So it's never going to be a guarantee, but it's should be pretty close if you're a good data scientist. And another thing they do is they serve the business. And while uh, the business has needs for the data, and that those needs for the data can be maybe telling what to do for the company. Maybe it could be telling the company where to go in the future, like where the markets are. So that's data is very important for the company. And that's why I guess being a data scientist would be a good feel to have because it's kind of critical for some companies because they need to tell they, they need to know where the, the market is going so one one last thing is that they data scientists will find insights in data and what i mean by these insights is that they'll find out like for example if they're like you work at like a trying to do data science for like 
McDonald's or something like that. They'll figure out based on like what the menu is, they'll predict what you want to order. So if you if the menu has Big Macs all over it, you'll probably predict, oh wait, this guy's gonna order a Big Mac because there's literally nothing else to order on the menu. <laughs> so I guess that could be pretty insightful. But that that's obviously an obvious example. They'll use it has usually data scientists use a lot more data than just stuff like that. All right, enough about data science. Let's talk about something more familiar for me. So I uh, am so a software engineer myself, and so what do software engineers need to know? They need to know data structures and algorithms. They need to know how to guess code. They need to know how to deploy their code. They need to know how to design their applications to fit the business's needs. And what do they do? Well, they, they write code to serve the company's purposes. So for example, like you might be writing a form like on a front end so or and validating that form so that the, the user can like type in some information and then that can be sent to a back end. You might also be sitting writing the back end and then that can be stored in the database. So you might put all these together and that's, so that's maybe something a software engineer could be doing. Anyways, that is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe if you want. Uh, see you later. Peace.